But I grew up with a dad that loved a bit of like rhyming slang. So we thought we'd give you a whole raft of it tonight. And to take it away now, Kel Richards, who joins me from Sydney. Let's get into it because you've got some great ones, Kel. We have. It appears to have started rhyming slang in about the 1700s with a double purpose. The idea was both to have a bit of fun with language, but also for thieves to be able to talk in a way that the constables and magistrates couldn't understand. There are two steps. Firstly, you rhyme one word with a pair of words, then you drop the non-rhyming word and you only say, you, you drop the rhyming word, you only say the non-rhyming word. So, for example, if you say something like, oh, that'll be apples, that's short for apples and spice, which is nice, or, oh, she's up the apples, up the apples and pears, the stairs. Um, and I've got to look at a list because there's a lot of them here. I'm feeling a bit butcher's, a bit butcher's hook, a bit crook. You remember that one from your dad saying it? And that's an absolute Barry. That's a Barry Crocker. It's a shocker. Now, pull up a Tom and sit down. Tom fool, stool. Um, g'day, me old China. Me old china plate, me mate. Uh, you want it on the dog, on the dog and bone, the phone. Uh, use your loaf, use your loaf of bread, your head. We often, we use loaf for head and we forget that it started as rhyming slang. Uh, you can't trust a septic, of course, being a septic tank, a yank. Uh, oh, and the, the, the noise called a raspberry is a raspberry tart, and tart rhymes with a bodily function, which I will not name on a family television show. Uh, he's brown, brown bread, dead. Uh, that's a fancy tit for you've got there, tit for tat, hat. Uh, a, a banging the goanna, which is the piano. The surf is full of Noah's, full of Noah's arcs, full of sharks. Uh, what else is there? Oh, stick your bag on, we'll go out. Your bag of fruit, your suit. Uh, don't show your boat around here, your boat race, your face. Uh, what else? Oh, I was on me Pat, on me Pat Malone, on me own. He's done a Harold. He's done a Harold Holt, a bolt. Uh, what else? Oh, and, and uh, that'll cost you 10 scholars, 10 Oxfords, uh, Oxford scholars, dollars. And they're still making them up. Uh, he, there's, nowadays, they, they're inventing new ones. So he was looking like it was the 1970s. He was wearing his Tonys, his Tony Blairs, his flares. Um, uh, hey, open up the Roger, the Roger Moore, the door. Okay? And it, was, it, was, it didn't cost much, it was really Merrill. It was Merrill Streep, it was cheap. Um, he, he was after a bit of posh, a bit of posh and Bex, which is sex, of course. Time for me, Brady, oh, Brady Bunch, hell, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we could go out afterwards and have a few Britneys, right? Some Britney Spears, some beers. So it, 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 a lot of it's got to do with playing with the language and just having fun with the language. And that's what your dad was doing, wasn't he, Peter? Well, I still use a lot of them. I mean, I use tit for and a whole range of them. And uh, you sort of have to pull yourself up because they're almost sort of old. It's old language, you know. You don't find a lot of young people use it. I mean, they have their own sort of slang, but the old rhyming slang. I always thought it had a Cockney... Uh, Cockney origin or something, Kel? Oh, yes, that's where it began. It began in the Cockney area of London, but it spread across huge parts of Britain and around the world. Americans have used it, and, and of course, Australians adopted it really enthusiastically. So things like Barry Crocker and Harold Holt, those things are ours. We thought of those ones. So it was taken up here because Australians love playing with language, and this is playing with language, and people watching now will think of rhyming slang I haven't thought of. It's, if so, Get in touch. Get in touch, absolutely. Go by Kel's website, Oswords Matters, or my Instagram page. Give us some more. We'll come back to it next week. Thanks, Kel.